We were moving on that one. I think I could do this rally thing. It is an exciting day because we are here in Austin, Texas at the Rally Ranch with the Safari GTR. Almost everything that we've done with it so far has led up to this point. I've been testing the car, taking it everywhere I could in Florida, and now for the first time, we're gonna get to take it on a proper rally stage. Dave's Rally Ready Driving School is super rad. I got to do it, I think like six years ago in a front wheel drive Honda Civic, and it is amazing to see how much this place has developed and grown. And not only are we gonna get to have some fun with both Colette 350Z and my GTR, but we're gonna do some stuff with some other proper rally cars. And my goal is there's an actual competition on Saturday. I want to compete in my first ever rally stage, rally sprint. I don't know much about rally lingo, but uh, zero expectations. I'm just here to have a good time. We've been sorting out the GTR and dialing in for this moment and I could not be more excited. Let's go check out the track. Oh hey, are you filming? I am. This is Dave. Oh hey y'all. Oh hey. I talked That's about me. how the last time I was here was like six years ago. It made changed more. a lot. We put more rocks on the ground. Yep. I made more tracks and I put lots of stickers on the cars. This was dirt before, right? This was dirt. If it rained like a quarter inch, it was just greased pigs, not you couldn't drive anything on it. We've been Facebook messaging for like probably like five years now. And like this off-road bug in me started as me wanting to build an R35 GTR, like three or four years ago, never happened. And then like this thing just happened out of nowhere. So I'm really happy that we were able to get it out here. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm stoked. And the problem is the week that you messaged me about this, my buddy messaged me in Colorado and was like, hey man, I got this R32 GTR I gotta get rid of. I'm gonna sell it super cheap. I'm like, I don't need an R32. And then you messaged me and I was like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. And, and then you sent me a video of it driving and I was like, I, st I don't think I need it. And now it's here and I'm like, <laughs> it's cool, right? I'm good, I don't need it. So <laughs> thanks in advance for that. One of the goals while we're here is to get him in the car to get an actual impression from someone who drives legit rally cars, like how it is. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, it looks way too nice for that from out here, but. Nah, it's good. But we'll we get a little closer. Oh no, it's fine, it's yeah. good to go. No, we can rip it. <laughs> so what's, the, uh, what's on the agenda today? Well, um, right now I moved a bunch of gravel boys are compacting that section of track we've got 48 hours before a rally sprint so normally we'd be like yo everybody off don't touch anything we gotta get the track perfect but instead we're gonna thrash on it for two days and then magically reprep it overnight and pretend everything's fine for the sprint so um, the boys from channel 199 are here getting Woo! their first taste of rally um, in the new heat wave rally car that we just built for them Travis called me a few months ago and was like hey I want uh, my guys to all go rallying. And I was like, great, let's get them the slowest car possible. So we built them a naturally aspirated like GC first gen Impreza. Um, so it's like the spec Miata of rally cars basically. So they're gonna get their first taste of that. Maybe later today, I don't know. Um, but they're just wrapping up the third of four exercises and then they're heading into the slalom, which is kind of like the last of our main exercises. So you guys are just gonna dip in the slalom with them and and uh, give it a little shakedown, see how it does. Cool. And then after that, I don't know, we're just gonna do whatever, whatever tickles our fancy, I reckon. Sounds good. It's beautiful, man. That's Thanks. so good. We're gonna hop in with the 199 boys. They're doing a slalom right now, just kind of get a feel to get set up dialed of the car, just on different surfaces we've never driven out before. Simple, literally just a slalom. Um, but it's cool to kind of see other cars hanging. All right. See how she does in the slalom. Leaving an all-wheel drive. Don't really know how it's gonna do. No! 
not bad. I'm right in between first and second gear. Try carrying a little bit more speed. We're pretty good. Not too bad. Moving on, we got a couple more corners, we gotta jump. I'm excited, this is the first time I'll actually be able to properly stretch the GTR's legs. Not on a closed course road, not in small woods, not at an abandoned development, a proper course. And this is still elementary stuff compared to what they have here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let her sing. All right, let's go. Feeling good through the chicane. All right. Oop. Not really understanding where to go there, but that's okay. All right, not bad for first lap. I gotta get on the pipe a little bit more though. I can't believe that the car doesn't have any damage after that. Yeah, that's kind of gnarly with it all just the gravel. Takes that. <laughs> well, no wonder we lost the bumper. Yeah, we yeah. need we need AC. That's spicy in there. Spicy. This thing literally works better than I could have ever dreamed. Um, so good, in fact. I get to the point where if I drive any harder, I feel like I'm just damaging the car and there's no incremental fun gain. Um, and I just got permission to go run the other stage. So I'm gonna go and uh, see what I can do there. I'll start slow, just gonna get my points. But um, I didn't think this car was gonna do so well. The tire setup, the suspension setup, obviously is nothing like some of these rally cars that they have here. 
but I optically I feel like I'm pretty on par with like the generic Subaru lesson car obviously I have a lot more power but I feel really good I'm a noob here I don't really know what I'm doing I'm sure some of my techniques aren't as good as they could be but uh, yeah we're about to go on like a big boy stage now as this is a sight lap just get a hang of my gearing my trunk's open Sean forgot to close it This hairpin is going to be interesting. Yeah. I'm trying to think of how to approach it. Like, kind of yeah. like. Yeah. I don't really know the course too well yet, so I'm going to go kind of slow. Oh, good. And then he wants me to cool down here and not hit that corner because that corner's new. Got it. great for a sight lock. Yeah, I know. I feel pretty good. Yeah. This car is sick. Preparing for that right hand Cool. Corner. Yeah, I'll just work my speed up slowly and yeah. see how it feels. That's, and that's, that's where you'll probably find a lot of fun. Okay. Cool, man. Thank you. You ready? Booth is off the compound on a Suron in the grass. That boy is living. Look at him go. All right, let's do it. I need some rally notes to tell me to not cut. A little bit overcooked it on that one. Gotta master that corner. I love that corner. <laughs> that was great. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I'll work up the pace a little bit more each time. I feel good though. That was awesome. I just don't know the track enough yet. So like trying to memorize everything's kind of difficult. Uh, I think in the hairpin, just throw it in and keep it in second until you're already like going out you know what i mean yeah because i think you tried shifting too early and it messed everything up yeah that felt great we'll let the car cool off for a minute i like the the tree turn yeah the tree turn's my favorite even on your sight lap the tree turn was like the the barriers on the inside help my mental i stay corrected don't even try for third yeah that was second gear and we were moving is super tall yeah That was perfect! What the heck? I can't see. Oh my god! The drifting helped there. <laughs> Woo! We were moving on that one. That was insane. I think I could do this rally thing. I swear your front bumper touched whatever is on the inside of the hairpin. But that, that was a big rock. Yeah, so I wasn't even, I didn't even rotate it like that on purpose, but that worked so good. That was sick. I thought I was going to spin out. I did too. That was the lap. 
I could have probably clicked third before that, but I was like, if I go, if I click third, I'm not going to break soon enough. You threw it into the, the tree corner too. Wow. Yeah, and we were, it was scary going through like, that you couldn't see. I know. Oh, that was really good. I feel way better than I probably should doing this. Yeah, yeah, you, you're getting a little too spicy. It's all the dirt video game. Yeah. That helps a lot. Oh, shout out. Shout out, dirt simulator. Speaking of. If you want to get good like me i'm gonna say i'm good because i felt like that was pretty good that was amazing i don't want to be cocky but that was pretty good i give it all credit to our simulator giveaway podium one ultimate racing simulator every five dollars you spend on lzmft or drifthq.com you're gonna win a custom built simulator to your needs spec'd out and individualized for you um it's epic it's really good and it made me a great driver my first time doing this lap two <laughs> Rally Ready, aka Rally Ranch, aka Dave, enough. We're literally day one of three days that we're gonna be here and I, I already feel like we could go home and I'm satisfied. This car performed so absolutely well, which is a testament to how good Sean did building it. Only issue we had, we lost a power steering belt. Um, and what, what what was the actual issue? Why did that happen? There's no issue. But like, what did, what did we fix? I just spaced it differently. Okay, well, anyway. Um, and funny enough, we thought it was a power steering pump and the guys here actually had an RB25 Neo power steering pump. Like what are the chances of that? But we didn't need to use it. Um, I'm super happy. Mentally, the next couple videos that I'm like thinking about filming here, but I'm gonna be very um, curious what your guys' feedback is and I'll take into consideration. I really want Dave, who's a pro rally driver, to drive this car and like almost give like a review of it, which I think would be really cool. I don't know anything about a like proper rally car. I think this car is great, but I almost want him to get in it and like tell me everything about it that's surprising him that's good and everything that's actually really bad that I just don't know. I think that would be cool and I'm thinking about obviously some sort of video of my first ever experience doing a proper rally sprint competition. Um, but if there's anything else or anything you want me to focus on with the guys here, let me know. This has been really, really cool. Um, we got to hang out with some of the Channel 199 guys today. They're filming a bunch of stuff for their channel too. Overall though, just really good vibes. It's been a while since I've been to Texas and uh, it's been a really long time since I've been here. So. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is uh, both very fun and very cool to see this car push to the limit. So, Colette, when's your video gonna be up? Colette got to drive a, a Sierra electric cross cart thing that's like this brand new ridiculous, it looks like Hella you are jealous. driving a brushless Traxxas RC car yeah. on kill mode, but scale it up and make yeah. it bigger. And I'm, I'm really, really jealous, but she's gonna have some crazy content on her channel, so make sure to go subscribe. Check it out, link in the bio. If Mike remembers to put it in. Link in the bio. You forgot the link on the last Porsche manual. You're the one that fills out the descriptions, whoa, whoa, whoa. dude. I wrote a note on your desk. <laughs> there was a note, a handwritten note. Yo, yo, no. Yo, 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 chill. When you say While in Austin, we're gonna go, um, what's it called, Salt and Spoon, Salt Lake Barbecue, is that a place? Salty, salt, no salty the, What's the other one? There's the Black Patoon. The, salty Spatoon. Oh, no, no, no there's the Black Pig, the, the place that we always go to. Black, right, no, not Black Rifle. Uh, what's it, what's it called? <laughs> the, the, Terry Black's. Terry Black's Barbecue, uh, Voodoo Donuts. Um, I'm trying to just name everything I know at Austin. House Skate Park. Oh, man. No, Dude, we should've gone to House Skate Park. Take the Surons there. Dude, Talon's here. He's like the Suron pro. This this can all be the stuff after the credits for the people that actually watch the video. No one probably cares what I'm saying. And but so I they swear said. to God. Hey, Sean. New truck review. Hey, <laughs> Does it? Yeah. It's, it's good. good. The you lane assist. Boy, that shit go crazy. You try out the sleeper seats? I tried out the sleeper lane assist so I can sleep while I drive. <laughs> Did you try out the massager? It's got Tesla mode for sure. Does it? Yeah. I didn't try that yet. It's, it's a good truck. I like it. Um, The seats are not that comfy. Yo, the woods here are ridiculous. Let's go. The back backtrack woods, that's where part of the rally stage is gonna be. Maybe we'll get to take this out there tomorrow, but that's like the real deal. Also, you guys didn't see, my bumper uh, fell off because Sean forgot one of the Cause brackets. Cause Tommy <laughs> didn't get me, or we're missing something here. So this <laughs> was never properly mounted. And then today it got murked by a bunch of gravel and fell off. So it, I'm, I'm really sad cause now we look like a drift car i know at least you know what i'm really happy about i thought for whatever reason it was like a kit where it covers here and this was going to be white and that would look terrible it doesn't look that bad it still looks bad yeah <laughs> it just basically the bumper became a parachute yeah so how'd it feel out there again <laughs>